to do. Because I, I told them, I was like, you know what, this is not going to work. For, this is not going to work for me. I said, um, can you tell them that I need to go home? So he put it in the Qualcomm, and okay. he was like, oh, well, it's not going to be no time, so it'll be next week. I said, that's fine. So he was like, oh, are you coming back? I said, I am not coming back. You can tell them. Don't call me because I'm not coming back. And, mm -hmm. like, that last trip on my way back, that's when I found out I was pregnant. Wow. So I was like, yeah, I'm not, because I had to protest, like, on my way home. So, so I was like, you yeah, had I'm not two, coming back. You, you, so you had two bad experiences with a with with a with a trainer with this company, man. What was I? I know somewhere. Yep. I I know somewhere, uh, in the video that you was uh that you was explaining that, uh, and help me if I'm if I'm wrong, but did you come back because you did mention about running teams and getting paid only, uh, thirty one cent a mile. Oh no, that's what that's that's what them. Because not only was we getting paid 31 cent a mile and we're supposed to get a cent per, you know, per month we're there to go up, they were shortening our check because even when we was getting paid 31 cent a mile, the paycheck, like the paycheck was, um, and that's another reason why I was like, you know, I'm not coming back because not for no $100, $400, like, no, nah, like, I didn't got no decent check. So, so I'm not. So the phase. Yeah, just, yeah, period, what? yeah. So, wow. like, for the first month, then the next month, then, then it was, like, taking long, too, because they needed to find somebody for me to team with. Mm -hmm. I didn't know nobody, so they was like, well, we'll find somebody, or you could be with someone. I'm like, once I got home and told them to drop me off, I told them I'm not coming back. <laughs> I'm not coming back. Did they, <laughs> did they, did they call you back? Did they try to, did they try to call you back and be like, uh, you know, we paid for your license, you have to come back? Um, they sent a letter out. Like they called like the next day when I was home. It's like, oh, are you coming back? I said no, and I hung up. And they tried. Like they sent a letter out. Oh, you know, oh, you owe sixty five. But come to find out, they only paid twenty eight hundred. No, twenty yeah, twenty eight or twenty five hundred for our license for us to get our license. Mm -hmm. So um, they just had a lawsuit. So we just got we really just got paid in July with the um, class A lawsuit against them. Oh, so you was a part of the how how did that work? How how did you how did you jump on board with the lawsuit? Uh, they sent out they sent out a letter, like everybody that went from like they said two thousand thirteen up until two thousand I guess up until like now. Mm -hmm. Um they was like, Well you got till April you got till April twenty sixth to fill out this form. Mm -hmm. Oh so yeah, so it's two thousand thirteen up until twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. So that when I got the letter in the mail, because like the first one, I ain't gonna lie, I threw it away. I'm like, I, ain't, I don't got time for this. But when I when I read the the one I sent in April, I was like, oh. So I still just went ahead and filled it out, and, and I called and I was like, is there anything else? And he's like, no, no. So he explained what was going on, and he was like, yeah. He's like, y'all get paid, y'all get paid in July. I said, like, bet. Okay, cool. Oh. And he let and he let me know. He Hold like, on. Yep. And he's like, y'all license don't cost sixty five hundred. It was extra twenty five or twenty eight. So that's gonna drop down off your credit too. <laughs> Went to court. They obviously they must have won. Uh, did you have to pay the twenty eight hundred, or was the twenty eight hundred paid back to you? No, no. Like I still got. I, I think. I, well, I know it's not even on my. It's not even on my credit number to be honest. Um, but oh, it was where I owed sixty five hundred. Mm -hmm. But it's not even on after the lawsuit. It's not even on my credit no more. And he let me know that they're trying to they're trying to charge us sixty five, but they only paid twenty eight. Yeah, so that's, they were trying to charge us more. Yeah, that's some that's some bullshit that some of these some of these uh, trucking companies uh, would try to do. They'll be like, I, I was just talking to uh, I was just talking to somebody yesterday about uh about that. Was that yesterday or day before yesterday? I, I don't know. I talked to a lot of people, but anyway, um. He he was telling me that trucking schools don't cost an upward of ten thousand dollars. A lot of people, a lot of people that's on Facebook, come out and say, "Yeah, trucking schools is anywhere from from this much to ten thousand dollars." I'm like, bro. No, it's not. I, I'm like, bro. If now, you roadmaster. Now, now hold on. If if you if you pay ten thousand dollars. Then they better teach you how to drive the fucking truck. <laughs> Not I'm I'm exactly. talking about 
I'm talking about they need to teach you how to drive that motherfucker and fix that motherfucker when when it breaks down for ten thousand dollars. Okay. Right. 10, I better be a diesel. Master. I better be a diesel mechanic coming out that motherfucker for ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Class. Like I was looking into Roadmaster too, mm-hmm. and they charge thirteen. They charge thirteen thousand dollars, and I said, "Hold on!" But when I'm looking at other schools, the lowest I've the lowest I've seen was like two twenty eight, twenty five, like in different states. Mm-hmm. But if like the school I went to, they charge sixty five. But I'm like Roadmaster, the y'all charge thirteen. They y'all not helping nobody get. Y'all telling people that y'all get them a job, but y'all really not helping them. I'm like y'all charging double for people to get their license. And y'all only want them to be there for four weeks. So you mean you put a, you y'all want people to pay all this, and they if they don't pass, they're out, and there's no way they can get that money back. Nah, Mm-mm. nah, mm-hmm. nah. I'm not. I paid. I paid fifty four hundred for my license. That was it. And it's crazy that you pay fifty four. This and this the variance because they they say that you know it pays for itself yes it does it pays for itself but you you literally paying $5400 or at least i paid was it 54 or 56 i think it was 56 i don't know my facebook will come back up when 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 my thing comes up it should be coming up this week as a matter of fact but anyway um i paid like 56 you pay 5600 dollars to make a thousand a week, not even yeah, you're not right. Even, not even, not even that. Not because, even that. Because you got to go out and train, and still get and and still get dick lag. But you pay fifty four hundred yeah. dollars for your license, but it does pay in the long run because in the long run, it you know you you just have to you you just yeah, have to you, find your footing. So, so CRST man, would you would you recommend anybody to go to CRST? Hell no. I would say just like no, how I, but but I go oh, ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, I no, but like I tell people like for it what what didn't work for me may work for somebody else and somebody may like C C R S T terms, so get your own experience. Me, I I tell people this like uh this I you know what? I'll send you make sure you subscribe to the Lockout Man podcast show, by the way. Um I'll send you okay. the link to Shakina and her her issue with CR England. <laughs> not not, oh, not I heard about them. Oh. Not not as bad not as bad as yours. Well, not as bad as yours, but it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. So I'm going to send you the link so you can uh, check that out. But uh, I I would say for companies like that, uh, CR England, CRST, Pam. Yeah. Get just go in there and get your license and bounce. That's it. Just that's worry right about I got my license to bounce. Worry worry about but, the payment afterwards because you know you can come in companies is 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 taking you in three months, four months. They're giving you a sign on bonus. They're giving you some uh uh uh, uh they they'll pay your school. Or whatever, whatever. So if if you come into a company and they be like, "Yo, we are gonna give you twenty five hundred dollars for a sign on bonus, yada yada yada," and this is how we pay it out, just uh just just pay it to to uh where you got your license from. You got it from CRST. Just pay them. Don't just look just look at the sign on bonus of not having a sign on bonus. That mo- that money's gone because you're just paying off that bullshit yeah. uh, that bullshit over there. Period. You and, know, just come what's in. What's crazy is mm-hmm. some people, some people like, and that's what made that's, that's what made them before. Like once people got their license, they'll have they'll give you a license and have you come in and sign the contract. But they realize like they don't caught on because most people get their license and they dip. So with me and the crew I was with, they noticed the class they that just finished before I did. But what they did they made us sign a contract first, then got our license. Well, you already got. It doesn't matter. You already got. You you already went through. You already got the paperwork. You already got got your paperwork. All you need to do is just take it down there to your home state, get your license, and you're done. And just be like, yo. No, they they, they and they'll get their license and dip in and not sign a contract and work with CRSP. They flipped it, so they told the instructor examiners if they pass, don't put it in until the next day. 
so they they don't so they wouldn't have a choice but to sign the contract and um they, I'm like that's wow. that's like that's that's stupid because because I really was gonna go that route like, I was gonna get my license and dip but I couldn't. So they, so they, 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 they was like, okay, we're gonna hold your shit for a day, and then give it to you Can after you, you a, after you <laughs> sign it. Well, yeah, okay, no problem. Hey, here you go. I'll sign the contract. Here, get my paperwork. I'm done. I'll go out. And you, and, and you know, you did what you, you know, you, you know, la la. You did what you can do, man. You, you did what you can do. It, it just wasn't working for you. You know, yeah, it, it, it just it just wasn't company. working for you. The company was the company was giving you bougie trainers. You know, they you know, it wasn't like that. They gave you a trainer that concentrated on making sure that you knew how to drive the truck. You know, they they didn't do that. Mm -hmm. They didn't do that. So what they expect ah. you to do? I mean, what I mean, really, what what did they expect you to do? Like. You inspect me to to, to to stay there. That's how that's how a lot of these that's how a lot of these accidents happen because you're 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 with trainers that's not focusing on on training you. Either they focusing on some bullshit, they focusing on their money, or whatever the case. I mean, in the Facebook group, I had somebody mention a company asked me to train. How much money should I ask them for? I said, if money is the first thing that comes out of your mouth to train, then you don't need to be training. You, know? you got to do it from the heart. The heart tells you how to, how, you know, if you want to really train this person to be a safe, reliable fucking driver. Yes. And the money will come afterwards, man. The money, just like with experience, what a lot of people come in like, well, how much money you're going to make? And how, you, you, in the first year, you're not going to make no money. So stop asking. You're not going to make no money in the first year. The first year, you should just concentrate <laughs> on your experience, period. Because after you get your experience, then. That's when you get paid. Exactly. And you got to keep your record clean, by the way. Exactly. <laughs> so exactly. no accidents, no preventable, no nothing. All right, so you uh, so you got pregnant around that time. Uh, you you stepped out, but you came back into the game a little bit stronger. You uh, instead of instead of going company, you decided to go lease with the with the current company you at now. Nah, I tried lease first with U.S. Express. And, um, that didn't work out either. <laughs> <laughs> how how did that, that work? Didn't work out either? How how did that work? And um, how did how, how did they how did they lure you in to do uh to 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 do a lease with them? Um, I wanted to do a lease because I was like outside of like outside of um, so I didn't get paid. Like I wanted to because like outside outside of being um a company because like work with Warner because like once I started back I went with Warner. And okay. I was like, okay, nah. Mm -mm. So I left them to do Lease Express U.S. Yeah, at least purchase with U.S. Express. But mm -hmm. I'm like, I could have stayed with Warner for the rest of the um for this little two months because I went seven weeks without getting paid. Um, I got I got my truck. Mm -hmm. to the, like matter of fact, the same day, like my AC went out. Like mm -hmm. when I I got my first, I got my truck, my first load. I'm headed to Orlando. Bam, my AC out. So the next day I had to go back um, to the shop in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. They had to go fix my truck. So I was out with that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, because, you know, they're like, oh, you can drive like that. No, I cannot drive like this. I don't know who you, who can drive like this, but once it's hot in the truck, it's hot. Yeah, so, especially um, down in I'm Orlando. Like, yeah. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said I'm not, and it's, and it, we're in the summertime. Who's going to drive this truck? So, you know, we had an issue with that. Then got my truck fixed, got another load, bam, back in the shop. So I was in the shop every week. That on then lease? The biggest, on lease. Then, the, then the, like, my truck started smelling like ammonia. I'm like, okay, what the heck is going on? So they was like, at first they didn't know what it was. Then I got Tennessee. I had to go to a, the Freightliner shop. 
they was like, yeah, your um, your your um self system is messed up, and that's about fifteen fifteen grand. <laughs> And all so of this, they, all of this breakdown is coming out of your maintenance agreement with them, right? Yes. Wow. So I really wasn't making no money. Wow. So then, and I was on a two year lease because I ain't, I don't want no four years. So then they up in the side. I was like, well, we don't have no more uh, sixteen, no more trucks because we're getting rid of all of them since we see that they have problems. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> So then I was like, oh, well, we're going to pick you the 19. I don't want a 19. So I said, all right. They're like, but it's a, it's a walk away. So I said, all right, fine. So I took the truck because I wanted to keep rolling and make some money. Even when I got in that truck, I still didn't make no money because now by me being a negative, I got to make up all this all this time. So, like, I complained. I told them I, would, I need to speak to the person in charge, whatever. So we talked. And they finally paid me, you know, 45, 46, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And once they gave me that, once I got that in my bank account, I quit. I caught Warner up when I got in Ohio. I seen that they was across the way from the U.S. Express Terminal. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, bet. I cleaned, I cleaned my truck out so fast. I caught Warner up. Um, I told them, I said, when can I start? They was like, oh, we, you can start this such, such. We'll put you in a room and all that. Bam, cool. Set it up. Cleaned my truck out. Express left my truck at the U.S. Express Terminal, and I left. <laughs> so uh, I'm like, it's across the it's across the way. So I went back to Warner. So you so you went back to Warner. You j are are you with Warner now or no? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I went ahead. That this past <laughs> <laughs> and the crazy thing is, for you to make more money with Warner, you have to quit and go back. Because when I quit, I made I made forty five cents. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what's the difference? But y'all went, yeah, while I was working with y'all, y'all didn't like, y'all didn't want to pay me that much. Like, I was making 30 some, 39, 39 mm -hmm. to 38 mm -hmm. on a TCU account. I'm like, I'm not going to do this. So I quit, and now y'all pay me 45% right. um, to be local and to do like the South Regional. Then y'all gave me a $1,000 sign on bonus. So okay. with Warner, if you want to make more money, you've got to kind of quit. Then come back because you're really gonna try to you know lure you in. Oh well, you can make this now, but with, with the same positions that I try, like okay, well, what if I want to switch accounts? How much is this? Oh well, it's thirty three, but I made forty five on this count. Oh well, that's because you're you know you're in the regional. If you're gonna go over the road, it's thirty three cent. But I have a year experience. Oh, we don't go by that. Mm. What? Oh well, excuse me, excuse me then. Then one guy, he'd been there for five years, and he's on the, like, the Enhance Bush account I was on, and he was like, yeah, we make, um, the highest they go up is 50 cent. And you've been here five years, and you're only making 50 cent, and you're cool with that? Well, it's, you, you know, but, it's, like it's say, unfortunate. It's, it's, it's unfortunate that, uh, that for companies, for, you know, coming in for company drivers, their, their starting pay and their themselves a cent. Yeah, you know, because, you know, it's a driver <laughs> shortage right now, but only a couple of cents, though. I mean, I, I feel, you know, this driver, uh, James LaPlatt, 45 years in the game. He's about, he's, he's touching 70. But 45 years in the game. Get with a company named Smith. They brought him in at 45 cent a mile. Bro. I said, are you serious? 45 cent? He was like, yeah, that's what they brought me in. 45 years, though? He was like, but see, James yeah. is the type of driver that he enjoys what he's doing. And he, you know, he's a veteran. You know, he's a, he's a veteran. So he already, you know, he's still, you know, military vet. So he was good. You know, he was just driving because he liked to drive. All right. But on a for real, for real. Anybody coming in with 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 ten years or more, they need to be touching a dollar, eighty cent, and not and not on no lease, not on no lease. It has to be company W two, and not just yeah, no, and, and not just the, and not just Walmart, not just UPS, you know, not not Amazon. You gotta be like regular, like 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 regular trucking companies y'all been in business for 
for 30, 14 years, 10, 15, 20 years or more at fucking 50 cents, 60 cent a mile? That's crazy. That's that's crazy. Uh, I believe in getting paid your worth, and I ain't gonna like do my research and learning stuff. I'm not. I I can't do it. Like my drive is a whole lot different than other people. So, like I tell people, if y'all got families, y'all need to know. To, I mean, to each his own. Everybody got their own issues and their own experience of what they could do and what they cannot do. But a lot of people promise, you know, they want to be out and drive on the road and stuff like that. But they want to be home. And I'm like, well, if you want to be home, you just need to go ahead and be local, and you're not gonna make no money being local like that. But well, I, 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 I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that one because if you go some local, local make just about the just about as much, if not the same, as a person that's doing three thousand miles. You know, local, you just have to put in the work. That's what local is about. You, you're you going to have to put I in. I did you, local, you, and I was making in, um, eight, eight, and I think I finally got a check of 12. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you yeah you're right. You do you gotta put the you work. Still to got, right, you still got right. You gotta put the, you you gotta you right. gotta do the work if you're local because you know you gotta do the work as far as backing goes, as far as it, it, if you have to touch the freight and all like that. That's where that's where the the money will oh, come yeah. in at. But I, you know, but you're not you mm-hmm. you you substituting the work for the miles. That's 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 how uh, that's how I would say because like you we're out here chasing three thousand miles to bring home twelve hundred dollars a week. You're substituting the miles. <laughs> I ain't doing that. Right. You you su- you su- you substituting the miles for the work to bring home twelve hundred dollars a week. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. But yeah, man, it's <laughs> woo, trucking. And, and I, you know, truck trucking. It is what it is, man. It, it is what it is. So it is. So you. So the so best you. Company so far. Mm-hmm. Well, so that's what I work for now. Doing these purchases. Oh, okay, they so you. Honored our con- they honored our contract, so they got to keep me at seventy percent. While their drivers, they go by the mile, but I don't because of my contract. Okay, so you you came in the lessers. I heard of them. Mm-hmm. So how long ago did Hirschbach, uh brought them out? June. Oh, this past June. Mhm. Oh, okay, okay. Now we, <laughs> I had a couple of drivers that feel some way about Hirschbach too. So, <laughs> but you you was driving for oh, less. Yeah. <laughs> you you was driving for lessers before before Hirschbach brought them out though. Yeah, because Lester actually sold them. Like, they didn't tell nobody. They they picked the company, or they put Hirsch back, and they just sold the company and didn't say So everybody's like, well, is it going to be a big difference? It was going to change. Because I actually liked it because we only did the east side, and that was it. Mm-hmm. So I was doing, you know, about six, seven states, and I knew my route. So, but it's it's a little better because I make more money. I make I make way more money than I was with um, Lester. Cause like lessons I made like twenty five, twenty five to thirty two a week, and with like with Hirschbach I made, um, wow, well, I made thirty two starting off, but like my checks been like going up more and more. Like my last two checks been in like five thousand. Oh, okay, okay. So this is uh, so this is lease on, uh, this is lease on you. You uh you acquired your LLC. Do, do, you don't have your authority yet, right? No, nah, I I don't have my own authority. All right, I'm but you, on that. but you you went on here and 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 set up a, a LLC for your own business, though, right? Yeah, in de- yeah in December. Oh, okay, so I, I started all this in December. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Uh, you know, congratulations on that. Uh, Hirschbach, Thank you. um, is how, how long, how, how long is the lease agreement with the, with, with the truck? Is it lease purchase or is my lease is up in my less, my, um, with lessons is year by year. So my lease is up in December. Okay. So but I don't, I don't, I plan on getting my own truck, um, once my lease is up and uh, I, I want to go Atlanta. 
Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, like I said, shout out. Uh, shout out to you for doing what you need to do to make sure everything is all right. That's what's up. That's what's up. La la, man. Thank, thank you. you very much for the conversation. I really do appreciate <laughs> it, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, man. Uh, <laughs> interest, interesting story coming up, uh, coming up through the ranks, man. Uh, what do you, um, <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you, you only a couple of years in the game, still strong. Um, you know, you can find you can find her. Go ahead and mention your TikTok again because I, I don't I forgot the two numbers already. <laughs> Twenty eight la la ninety. Twenty eight la la ninety. That's where you can find this young lady at doing all the doing all the TikTok ish <laughs> TikTok ish ish over there on Tik ish. You know what I'm saying? Have you, you you mentioned that you was on Facebook? Do you still do? Do you still post on Facebook or you just use Facebook for family now? Um, no, I still post on Facebook. Oh, okay. Now, see, for me, Facebook, I, you know, face, Facebook who? Facebook what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all about, tic, it's all about TikTok now. <laughs> like, I don't now. be on it. Exactly. Yeah, it's there. No, I did switch over the more. Like, I don't really be on, like, you know, I do it to show my presence for like, my family, I was on for three weeks, and they got concerned. So I was like, man, let me just post every now and then. But I'm mostly on TikTok. Yeah, see, as far as Facebook goes, it's only for family. I still got people that finds me and all like that that knows my government name. I'm going to send you a friend's request. For what? Because, <laughs> right. you, know, we, we, you know, so we can be for No, 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 no. Listen, are you subscribed to the Lockout Man podcast? Uh, No. Then what is the point of me? <laughs> what is the point of me bringing you on to my Facebook for? I don't even use Facebook all right. like that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I and and, and it, it's, um, it's I have funny I have people that's that funny acting towards me after that too because I asked them in the, you know, I send a messenger before I. I, I send a messenger before I accept their friends' request. I'll be like, yo, um, uh, how did you find me? And are you subscribed to the Lockout <laughs> Man podcast? And they be like, you know, some of them don't even fucking answer back. So I'm like, okay, if you can't answer back, then no, you don't need to be a friend of mine on Facebook. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, I found my phone. I found my phone. But if you know anybody that needs a truck or anything like that, um, the place I'm going, um, you know, to help people out is a place called freedom way truck mm -hmm. and they come with the tag and everything and they just have one set fee like if you see a truck on there it'll say 6300 um or 8100 8100 is the most i've seen but that comes with all your paperwork all your dot inspection everything um your down payment everything and like they do really really um good with getting you a truck and it's out of mississippi all right, that's what's up. Well, congratulations on your future endeavors with that, man. Um, congratulations with that. Hope everything work out. And uh, definitely stay safe out there. You are a citizen now. So if any, there's anything that you want to talk about or, you know, come back, in, uh, come back in the future to let us know what's going on, get with me. You got the number. You know how to get in contact with <laughs> me and all like that. And if you are on Facebook, you know, you can find me. No, I like that. I'll send you. I, I'll send you the link. But um, but okay. yeah, but yeah, that won't be that won't be no problem, man. You know, like I said, I I I definitely enjoyed the conversation, man. More power to you. Um, uh, much respect to you, and make sure you stay safe out here. I will. So you said for the you gonna send me the link for the podcast? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm so gonna is, say, oh, is, yeah. is it separate? Is it is separate from TikTok? Uh, yeah, it's separate from TikTok. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to okay. send you the link. I want to send you both links. I'm going to send you my uh, Facebook link, and I'm going to send you the uh, the uh, the link to the young lady's interview. And you can subscribe from the young lady's pay, uh, interview to uh, to catch all of the interviews that I do. <laughs> all right no i like I that including in, including yours when i when i bring this out so most definitely 
So you stay safe. Where are you heading to? You as well, Chicago. Be careful going out to Chicago, man. That is all I had to say. I am I actually I'm 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 on I'm I'm on your way to your home state, so I'm heading down to Florida. So, <laughs> so you stay safe again and I will you send everything to well. you. And I'll holler at you in a little bit. All right. I appreciate it. Thank no you for doubt. having me. You very welcome. Thank you for coming on. You're welcome.